so probably about minus 45, minus 50 with the wind chill and just gusting snow and horrific visibility. So I decided that uh, it would probably be borderline suicidal to leave today, which means I have to spend another day here. Well, that's two days I've been pinned down here by weather. Feeling a little bit nervous, uh, a little bit of anxiety just because of how freaking cold it is here. I mean, to go outside for two seconds and it just freeze your ass off instantly weather. It's gonna put me another day behind schedule, so that means all in all I'm about three days behind schedule now, but uh, you know what? It is what it is, and um, uh, you don't wanna push things out here too much. Finally, the weather's gotten better, and I'm amazed some other people this is a good snow knife, the one you have there. Now, we're going to build an igloo out here on the ice. That's all you do, you just keep like chopping in between the two. This is what happens to me. Right now you're just sealing in all the gaps, eh? That looks perfect. You have to have like smaller chunks, eh? Yeah, I was trying to just put like fluffy snow in there, but it would just blow through. So like this, can you fit, you could fill that in? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if our ancestors used to know, because they have wife too, eh? Yeah. Do yeah, well, you, they, you're gonna have to have a nice warm place to do that, you know? You're gonna freeze. Already warm to me. You can tell? Yeah. Beautiful day today, and wind stopped, and the skies cleared up. And I've just made it to Pingwalawit Crater. The crater is about uh, two and a half kilometers from camp. Probably the second purest water in the entire world. Look at this unbelievable sight, just huge, bigger than I thought, and such steep walls going down into it. Just crazy to imagine that a meteor caused this, like that would have been a sight to see. Probably would have been the last sight you'd ever see if you saw the meteor, because you'd die. But uh, the purest water, we got to drink some of it. Absolutely beautiful sight to behold. The, basically, as tough as it's been, uh, the real trip is starting now. I'm going to head north to the Pavungatuk River and follow that to Lac Alamand and then um, head east to Kulavik from there. So a little longer route, but it'll be flatter, I think more protected. I'm hoping I can get back onto that, that track of 15k a day. Come on, come on. <laughs> now the river, starts to get uh, pretty wild. There's a tons of rapids marked, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to walk across the rapids if the ice will be unstable. Come on, Buck. I gotta say, Today has to have been my favorite day of travel. I'm so glad I decided to come to the Pavungatuk because the river is wicked. There's just canyons and it's just such a gorgeous sight to see. Uh, it's day 16, I'm on the Pavungatuk River. Yesterday was nice and sunny and today it's actually just dangerous. I can't see where I'm going. Uh, the snow conditions are, are tough. I've only made it two and a half clicks today. Hoping to do 15 so I got my fingers crossed that I'm going to be able to make some time. No visibility, so not the kind of day to travel. <laughs> it is minus 27 with a 50 kilometer an hour wind. And let me just tell you, it feels like it's about minus 200 out there. So, Day 17, uh, I can't travel today. I'm just ha having to stay put. 
There's really just no point in going anywhere today because uh, by the time I broke camp, it would be almost six. And then I'd be able to walk for a couple hours and then have to set up again. So probably not a good idea to leave the tent and start going in that kind of weather. <laughs> I just went outside to have a shit. I was holding it off as long as possible, but since I have a little bit of a lactose problem, I shit my pants. I feel frostbitten. Okay, day 25. We finally have another beautiful day today. Buck's running out of food, I'm running out of lunches. I'm excited to try to catch some fish. So I'm just gonna dig down to the ice first off. The ice here could be six feet deep, so I wanna make sure I'm far enough out and I'm hoping to get into some landlocked char, maybe some lake trout here. Might take an hour depending on how thick the ice is. It's no joke, I don't have enough calories to finish the trip as is, and this is sucking a lot of calories out of me, so if I chisel right down into rocks, um, it'd be absolutely devastating to be perfectly honest with you. 